History is being written at the Baburn Stadium in Mumbai today as we are here to witness the first ever India's Women's League. Well, the love for the sport, the passion and the energy in the air is evident by the huge number of people who've turned up to support and watch the match between Delhi and Bangalore. While we are here to celebrate this step in the right direction, we're also here to talk about something else. Royal Challenger Bangalore's team is wearing a very important, powerful and a revolutionary message on their cap. It says, hashtag not fair. So what is not fair? What are they talking about? Well, let's find out. How did you find the match? What were the emotions like in the stadium? Oh, it was amazing. And we are Jemima fans. Oh. Jemima's a cousin, so we are going crazy. It was amazing. It was electric. It was very fun to be inside. The match was lovely. I loved each and every part of it. To see the girls get this kind of attention really makes us happy. So when you were watching the match, did you notice something on the helmet of the Bangalore team players? Uh, the not fair hashtag, right? Yeah. Not on the helmet, but I saw it on the screen. I saw the hashtag not fair. Something fair. Hashtag not fair. Me? Not, not, not fair. fair. Not fair. One of the girls we coach actually sent me a picture and she said, see, even on RCB's helmet, there is uh, not fair. We even spoke about it. I mean, what what is not fair thing? So if I asked you what does not fair mean in context with WPL, what do you think it means? Don't wear IPL jersey in WPL. <laughs> to be very honest, I first thought it was something to do with uh, gender discrimination thing that they've been promoting. I think not fair is about the gender disparity that exists in sports and in real life. Actually, the pay is not equal. Probably and the opportunity is also not equal. Women's cricket should get the same attention as men's cricket. This was not fair prior, there was no matches for women. And the opinions also differ for, uh, for men's cricket and women's cricket. People think they can't basically do what men do in cricket. Women are struggling way too hard to prove themselves. If I had to tell you not fair in context to beauty, what do you think it means? People judge uh, certain people uh, based on their skin colour. It's judging someone's beauty by their colour. Cheating going on with the skin colour. So like everyone. <laughs> I get that a lot. We don't have to be fair to be beautiful. Everyone is perfect. And it's okay to be not fair. And your skin colour is absolutely fine. Do you think the perception of beauty is changing in India? It needs a technical breakdown. Dire dire, yes. Absolutely it is. And people are so much more accepting of that body colour. It's visible. I am dark, I am beautiful. You are fair, you are beautiful. And if someone believes that the beauty has to do with complexion, they must change. Those who haven't yet changed, they will change with time. Do you think beauty has a skin colour? No, it doesn't. No, definitely not. Take a look at him. <laughs> I don't believe in that. Beauty is beauty. I don't believe in beauty being uh, restricted to just colour. So it's like water. Transparent. <laughs> ka koi rang hai. Oh, beauty has no colour. Beauty does not have colour. Beauty doesn't have any colour. Well, you heard what they had to say and I totally agree with them that it's not fair that beauty is equated with one skin tone. Not fair is a smaller part of a larger campaign launched by wellness company Himalaya, Beauty Has No Colour. This International Women's Day, Himalaya wants to tell the world that there is no beauty ka koi rang nahi hai. Not fair. 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 Not fair.